What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to the Urban Northwest channel. Knife making. Alright, stay tuned. So, um, this is my first knife. Official Urban Northwest first knife. Uh, it's a 01 tool steel. Uh, it is a. It has been heat treated and uh, tempered. It, it holds a um, a uh, oak handle from uh, Home Depot. <laughs> um, we got some of these uh, these pins that I found there too as well. Um, first impressions on knife making. So. I'll be super honest here with you guys. Uh, your first knife, you, you shouldn't be this big, first of all, unless you want to go ahead, you know, go for it. But uh, you might get discouraged after a couple of hours of just grinding and molding the knife. The easiest part of knife making is drawing it out, <laughs> realistically. There's like hundreds and hundreds of videos out there about how to make knives. Um, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a YouTube enthusiast and uh, and I love YouTube so <clears throat> but other than that uh, that's my first knife so first first biggest tip is know your your tools capability um, so I drew this one out this one here is uh, really close to what I drew I drew, drew out the hardest part of uh, the knife making for me myself because my tools um, being a, a, a knife a knife maker um, you know it's just starting a new hobby it's pretty cool you know it kind of goes with the channel too and you can customize your own tools you can you can make your own knives and for what applications you want there's no one knife option out there you know don't let the uh, the YouTube world the uh, uh, fool you <clears throat> but other than that look at this this is the hardest part um, I didn't have anything to grind this part down the uh, it's like a finger choil type of thing I was trying to do and this was supposed to be the actual finger choil but uh, it's like a finger block choil and it turned into something else but other than that uh, I had to use a dremel for that part and it took me like I don't know, 30 minutes to do but uh, you know dremel 30 minutes uh, on a grinder you can probably do that in like seconds or, or a minute or two so but yeah um so the the tight corners the tight you know uh, angles are, are probably going to be will be your biggest uh, challenge um <clears throat> so know your tools capabilities so this is going on to my next knife i made a, a handful of knives so you guys know let's put this aside right here it's my uh, chopping board you know it goes with knife knife theme so this one right here uh, uh, it's supposed to be a, somewhat of a bushcraft uh, pack knife. Um, it has the uh, the belly, the belly feel to it because um, I, li I like I like the belly um, uh, on, on on knives, <clears throat> especially the um, uh, the kukri type of style. So have you seen here? This looks like a uh, like a kukri. That was my that's my favorite uh, machete. You know uh, the kukri machete. Um, it feels it's, it's decently heavy, uh, front heavy, and it felt it felt really good. On a smaller knife, um, the cookery feel <laughs> goes away. That's what I discovered. So it's all a learning experience too. Uh, again, uh, as you see here, the uh, the finger block thing, the choil went away because I knew it was kind of hard to to do that part. And this knife here, I bumped it out. Um, half the time on this one, but I knew it was going to take long on my first knife just because it's your your first run on it So this is the this is you can say the the ugliest knife uh, uh, That I've ever made uh, it's my first knife um, <clears throat> So there it is you guys probably seen some of the other knives in my other video, but, uh, but yeah, so we'll move it on Move it on so there's my next knife uh, so quality and after further research he got a little better. That was pretty cool, huh? This 01 tool steel again. Uh, I, I get you shouldn't buy 01 tool steel on your first knife making. There's a lot of tool marks, of course, because uh, 
and it's just gonna be my knives for now um, not really selling it just yet but I will sell it of course uh, so this one here has the micarta handle scales um, I made some micarta handle scales it's fun to make micarta it's like you you put it all the fabrics and whatever paper <coughs> you got going on and then uh, you just hope for the best <laughs> it turns out right so this one is pretty cool looking um, you got the black and the, the, the you know, faded black and um, a bluish thing going on so yeah sanded it down <clears throat> so uh, yeah so some of the things that I've discovered in knife making you you'll need a lot of other little items kind of like uh, a respirator so when you start shaving um, dust uh, metal and all kinds of fancy stuff and melting and using the forge you get all kinds of fumes in the uh, in the shop so make sure make sure you guys uh, purchase a, a, a good quality respirator you don't have to go all out right away but uh, just don't want to get metal fever and, and, and don't don't ever melt uh, galvanized because they have some um, uh, weird chemical or, or, or heat up galvanized <clears throat> so just do a little bit of research on metals um, it's totally safe to do man I mean just 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 gotta take the safety precautions uh, it's really easy it's not super hard um, best tip I can give you is take your time take your time uh, and 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 try to avoid uh, hard hard corners like these right here um, and know what your tools capabilities are are so as you see here this part uh, and I'll roll in some footage too in the corner somewhere this is from my uh, sander and you don't have to get expensive tools man but uh, you can you, you can file all day long and still won't get a completed blank uh, and you know <laughs> time I don't know, uh, I, I, I refuse to spend too much time on the file. Uh, I just, you, know, you want to bump out the knife and kind of use it right away and show off to your friends, right? <clears throat> so next knife I made, um, this one just came out, this random just came out of nowhere. Uh, it's like a, like a tactical type of feel looking at it, huh? It almost looks like a shark fin. Okay? But yeah, this is pretty cool, I like this one. Um, I don't know exactly all the purpose of these knives for yet. I mean, just kind of experimenting, kind of like what I see on online and on the internet, um, and some of, some knife designs that are kind of like already proven. Um, this one I haven't seen, um, so but I do see some knife makers out there in the tactical world. They do have that little point part right here, like that kind of like that going on. Maybe there's a little bit more sleeker look. Um, so this is more of a slicer type of feel. I'm think I'm thinking maybe um, like a, 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 a hunting knife uh, for skinning, skinning knife. That's what I meant to say, skinning knife. So I don't know. Um, the same my card handles. Um, then I ran out of this my card handles, right? Um, <clears throat> didn't really make a lot. Just kind of like testing it out. So I made some more, but I made black uh, for old jersey. Uh, this is linen, by the way, like some old. Uh, linen t-shirts I had sweaters uh, yeah t-shirt sweaters whatever um, but yeah so this one here is from an old jersey that I had um, I destroyed the jersey uh, but whatever but yeah so look at this one it's pretty neat oh, look at this this thing one this one's shiny so I kind of experimented with the uh, with the high grit uh, sandpaper uh, it, this is hand sanded by the way um, but grind it on the grinder. So you see that little uh, curvage there again. So that's the exact same uh, um, specifications. If I line it up, they're all the same. So you can kind of like mix and match and kind of work it in your favor. Um, this one here, it's it's small. This is supposed to be like a, a pack bushcraft knife. Um, I don't know. So I mean, what do you guys think so far? Pretty neat, right? So you know, I've been experimenting and, and kind of just learning. Uh, this is all learning curve. I have maybe like another half dozen to make just uh, so then I can make sure the quality of knives that I sell will be uh, up to par, you know? Um, and for the most part, keep in mind, if you do decide to purchase a knife from me, um, it's gonna be like this type of quality. Um, this is uh, this one here is all O1 tool steel. So uh, O1 tool steel costs more. Um, but I'm gonna sell it for like maybe budget price uh, around the $75 to $50 range, maybe lower, maybe closer to the $50 range, because uh, I know a lot of uh, budget uh, budget guys out there. Plus my my channel is more like a budget channel, right? So 
my last knife I made just recently, uh, two days ago, look at this one. Now this one's pretty cool. So you see, you see where I'm, uh, I'm coming, I'm going coming from. Look, from my first knife, it's way too big. Second knife, kind of like just whatever. Third, fourth, fifth, and my sixth knife. So this is 5160 steel. It's a spring leaf steel. See that pound march right there? Because the uh, leaf spring comes with uh, a curvage on it. So I, I straightened it out. So this is not straight as an arrow. So if you decide to purchase one from me, uh, expect that. But that makes it unique in the handcrafted, you know, type of type of uh, knife design. You know, it's uh, it's actually made from someone local or somewhere else. And I'm not thinking of shipping like overseas or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? <clears throat> Tell me what your favorite knife is. There's no name for these knives yet. Uh, it's just kind of like what I'm just randomly making. Um, I don't know if you guys hear, I got some chickens in the background. Um, uh, purchased some chickens recently. Uh, you want me to show you some chickens real quick? Here, little girl. So I'll, I'll hold her so she doesn't fall. But look at her. Her name is Pastel. So, oh, 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 come here. Come here. Come here, little girl. I know, you're calling for your friend. Pretty cool, huh? So I'll probably have some eggs. Um, you know, chickens are, chicks, uh, chickens are pretty cool, and I always wanted to own some chickens, so here you go, I got some. Okay, she's kind of mad, so I'll put her back in her, uh, her little place there. And she did not like, she was camera shy. So, but yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, pretty neat, right? Um, I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to be making more knives, tons of knives. One of the biggest challenges that I've discovered in making knives, it's another little thing here is the uh, plunge line. See this? Uh, I'm probably wrong, but this plunge line here is probably the hardest part to do. Um, you'll have to have the proper grinder, um, like a really flat uh, grinder. Um, I purchased my my uh, my grinder, sander grinder, belt sander, whatever you want to call it, from uh, Home Depot. So these are all the uh, right OB it will be grounded here so I don't know it's 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 great I mean obviously I can make a knife out of it um, recently so I was having troubles with uh, with drilling accurately because I had the uh, hand drill so see that right there and this is kind of it went way off the, the middle one is kind of a little bit lower than what I wanted it looks good after but when you, since you put the pins in that's how it looks like and I've discovered sometimes this is, this is way too many pins for this small knife. Um, so I discovered that I, I looked on YouTube and uh, like the, all the knife makers, they don't put a lot of pins on it. Um, so that's, so I put two on this one. So this one's pretty cool, huh? I like that red thing going on. Looks like uh, some redwood, but that's a micarta by the way. Micarta, that's from an old curtain that I, uh, I butchered and uh, made out of uh, my card handles. So I, this I still have a lot more of, so you'll probably see a lot of more red handles going on. But, uh, well, that's all I got for you guys, man. That's what I've been up to. That's why I haven't been making any videos, but this is really cool, I think. So if you're thinking of purchasing one, um, go ahead and do so. Just hit me up on uh, YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, so if you, uh, if you wanna follow my knife making or just anything in general, uh, go ahead and follow me on uh, Instagram. Uh, you'll see it. Also, um, uh, uh, if you are thinking of purchasing any other items from my, from my other recent videos uh, through Amazon, go ahead and do so because uh, to support help to support the channel um, and you know help produce more knives and you know just the enjoyment of uh, everything. Uh, go ahead and make purchases through my Amazon um, Amazon link. So uh, the Amazon link is kind of like funky a little bit. It seems like a uh, like a uh, like a fraud link type of deal. So kind of kind of generic, but uh, it's, a, it's a legit link, okay? Uh, it was in my video, I noticed that. I was like, what the heck? But other than that, guys, uh, uh, thanks for tuning in uh, to the Urban Northwest channel. Please like, share, and subscribe um, uh, to see my upcoming videos, and uh, be on the lookout for my next new knives. So I have a bunch of more designs that I'm gonna be making soon. Urban Northwest out.